Up it comes down to Marion. Marion drives. He hammers it home. Count it. And a chance at a three-point play. When that seven seconds of left was rolling, it was Sean Marion getting rebounds, kicking it out, and then still beating Steve down the floor. It was Sean Marion getting putbacks. It was Sean Marion guarding five positions. It was Sean Marion being an underrated passer. He's an ultimate teammate. Ultimate team. And, uh, you know, without, without Sean Marion, that seven seconds or less could not have worked. Nash Marion in the 10th floor once again. My last year was his first year. He was a rookie and uh, just a live wire, just an electric body floated up and down the floor. Um, there were several times during that year where Sean was on the court, we were on the court together, and you know I'd grab one and throw it up. One that I thought, oh, that's gonna go out of bounds, it's way too high. And he'd just float up there and get it and dunk it back down. Uh, the Matrix is what we called it. Rebound by Marion, the Matrix is everywhere. Marion's gonna get a chance to score. Bravo time for the Matrix. He, uh, he was a perfect fit for our organization at the time and, and brought a, an infusion of, of youth and energy and you know, athleticism. And you know, Sean's personality was a great fit, I think, for the city of Phoenix and, and a great fit for the organization. He was a nightmare matchup for power forwards. They couldn't stay with him. A lot of threes were too small to be able to play him around the basket because he'd just jump over the top of guys. So he was a matchup nightmare for the other team defensively. Because he could defend any position. He could guard any player on the floor. He had the, the quickness, the reach, the arm length, everything else to be a tremendous defender. Here come the Mavericks to win. The from the and That is an unbelievable defensive play. He was just a defensive juggernaut. This guy will guard the, the, the best player every single night for us. Which was, which was amazing, and would never call a play for Sean, but he still has 20 points and 10 rebounds. Defensively, he was so long. He could guard pretty much one through four on the floor. Uh, you can put him out on the perimeter and, or in the back course, chasing after the basketball, and then you can still go on the block and play against the power forward to play with the back to the basket. Made off the screen from the tempo, two-man oh. game, blocked! Blocked by Marion! Can you believe that? He blocked the tempo. On the other side of that coin, he was so difficult to defend himself. He had a great array of shots. He could score from outside. He could drive to the hoop. He could run the floor. And uh, he really was a complete player. Sean was unique. I mean, Sean was just one of those guys where he just bounced off the floor. And he was, had the great versatility where he could guard almost any position. And then offensively, he was great on the break. You know, he'd just find ways to, to make an impact on the game. You know, Sean could shoot that outside shot and uh, ran the floor so well, but always defended whether it was a big or a, a guard and out on the wing. And uh, so you need players like that that always may not get the credit they deserve, but they're always going to be out there working their tail off. Pass is stolen by Sean Marion. Marion comes down for a win. Bang, slam. Six nothing, son. How about the anticipation of Sean Marion twice in a row coming up with steals? Another Three steal. times in a row. And he scores. The quickest second jumper that I've ever seen in the NBA. You know, if he didn't get the rebound the first time, his second, he was jumping the second time while people are still coming down, he was going up the second time. Again, he had these pogo-like legs that allowed him to be so bouncy and so springy. Never have to call a play for him. I mean, he just gets everything off the glass, offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, he runs the floor like a deer, uh, always able to catch lobs and, and has some of the best hands that, that, that you'll ever find. You look at the numbers that he has had, scoring, rebounding, and every other parts of the game, they're right up there when you look at the list of, uh, of Sun's greats. You don't really recognize or appreciate his greatness until you match it up with some of the greats that ever played this game. Um, his versatility was unmatched, you know, his endurance, his motor, his skill level, his competitiveness, his athleticism. When you put all those things together um, and, and you talk about great players, like really generational talents, Sean checked every box. And, and so that's why the Matrix will always uh, go down as one of the greatest sons ever.